Hello, my name is Saiken and this is um, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen and the series is called uh, Please Send Me Your Disastrous Failed Runs. This specifically is the Failed Psionic Rush run and we're entering episode number six. To recap, we fought very very hard to the nails to even get Africa back and now that we do have a proper Africa kind of setup here I would like to continue the campaign with um, getting an engineer we end countering the avatar project because as you can see we still have issues with the avatar project so it's not yet saved um, we are going to do that we'll be with our with best available soldiers luckily for us since we have invaded the ufo we got um, weapon upgrades and we're now having laser weapons so the side trap on this mission will be we're reduced to three members and we're taking the three strongest uh, members that we do have and yeah we're going to try our best we will need a couple more uh, wins before we um, actually got the upgrades for the armor and from this point onwards the campaign will be substantially easier resistance operatives managed to hack into the advent network through an exposed access point in this area but alien reinforcements make quick work of their team their oh nice look at that it's one of the new maps Secure the area and hack the terminal before Advent has time to shut down the convention. Eliminate all hostiles with extreme. That's pressure. the beautiful map from XCOM 1 that they remodeled. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. The access point. The good old petro uh, petroleum ahead. station. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Unfortunately, we'll end it over here and not uh, make the at the gas station itself because the gas station has high ground and since I absolutely adore high ground it would have been nice to use that always check the hex always this here is very very good and it's a moderate negative feedback so I'll keep it in mind when there is a desperate situation we might use distraction It's obviously not as good in a three-man run as it would be in a five or six-man run. Um, we do have nine turns to get there, which isn't that much if you think about it. Oh, wow. Spectre and a Sectored. I would want to go for the high ground, but that's one turn, maybe a pack, maybe a pack, two turns, three turns. It's not gonna work out. Rolling out. Stepping off. Closing on target position now. On it. Too bad that we can't uh, explode the cars. Our grenades are not strong enough to one-shot the, the car. Big fat explosion uh, and the car explosion together would deal a lot of damage. So it's either 75% or taking a 100% shot. Um, with 100% shot, we would be looking at 7 to 9. Which means there is, worst case, 9 more hit points left over. Yeah, 
Yeah, but if we're missing, we would be fucked. So let's take the secure shot. I want to kill this guy. We've been spotted. The reason why we don't Overwatch trap is um, Spectres have lightning reflexes, so the Overwatch shots would have missed. It is in full cover. I mean, we can deal two damage. I don't want to get too close to the actual location here. Because I do have my suspicion that there are more enemies either here or probably inside. He's at a strong position, no question about it. Might as well kill the sector in in between. We do have enough grenades, so let's not be shy. Take this. Come on, hit him. Well, that was a hit but unfortunately not a crit. Yeah, he's going to shadow bound, which was we to be expected. But I think we're still going to be fine, he can't run that far away. Yeah, our snipers got that. Take a shot, maybe? There we go. That's how you do it. Panic removed. Problem solved. And we even repositioned um, exactly at the right spot. The guy behind him, uh, behind her, already exposed. And fine. One down. Could use some ammo over here. So we got six more turns. Let's do this. Moving a bit closer. And Overwatch. Not the best cover. I think this here is okay. Ah, pulled another pack. Yeah, but somehow you can't evade pulling them. At some stage you can't. And, well, that's not a bad chance to hit the guy in full cover. Uh, Moving I'm over. Going. Come on, hit the stun lancer. Stun lancer is definitely our priority okay, target. So I got one. I think we're going to take the 62% uh, chance here. Ah. Get him next time. 20 second bio break.
All right, sorry for that. So we got uh, stasis and I assume he has used his shields. Yeah, not a big surprise here. Kind of business as usual, so to speak. We could Mimic Beacon. We could Mimic Beacon. But I think we're in a pretty okay spot, to be honest. I mean, we could... We can take a shot. Hmm. That's a two-thirds uh, two of a chance to actually kill this guy. Let's try it. Yeah. Not even close. We're being nailed down here. Need to watch the uh, the network shut down a bit uh, closer. Maybe with the Holy Warrior together, if we're removing the cover and actually killing him, we should be fine. It's going to take one shot. Of course, a crit. of curiosity no it's too far away it's okay we'll get there eventually Back online. Here, catch. Let's make sure that this guy dies. It would suck if he wouldn't. Well, can't reach him, which means... We actually need to consider taking the Mimic Beak in this turn. And I don't want to shoot this guy. It's not worth the effort. So unless this is going to be... Do we have an execution on it? Yeah, there is a free insta-kill chance. So unless this is going to be an instant kill, we're going to use the Mimic Beacon. It's a valiant effort. Unfortunately, lost the loot. Tired of waiting around. Shot wide. Wow, we missed that. That's a bummer. It's even worse because now we do have sustenance instead of instantly killing this guy. I hope it's worth 
I'm going to overwatch in the hopes of uh, killing the priest when he moves. Got him. This is going to be a hit, unfortunately. to hack the workstation, otherwise we're going to lose the mission. Yeah, let's try to get uh, some intel. Yep. We're in. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Moving into full cover. Ah, these odds are not very good. These odds are better, but still not very good. We're in full cover. This guy would need to move over and put flank us. Not good. If we were to take a shot, we could take him. No, we couldn't take him out. Only with a crit. And that's highly unlikely. That's not going to happen. Not sure if he has a grenade. I think he does. But if we suppress him, he can't throw the grenade. Let's suppress him. Let's go kill this guy. Armor still holding. Good shot. Good shot. Hitting him for another two at least. Well, one because he has so much armor. Do we have a stock installed here? Yeah, there is a stock, so he's going to die. Finally. You see Run and dry on ammo. What? We're still not done? Oh my gosh. What's over there? Position confirmed. We're out of healing. Out of most of the resources. I'm ready. On Overwatch. Reloaded. Almost out of ammunition. Not sure what's going on, but we're still having one more pack to go. At least. Maybe even more. Here I come! Moving to Overwatch! Come get some! I would like to understand where the enemies are. Could take a wild guess and say they are on the rooftop. Uh, I'm going. Well, almost. Yeah, 
and we have no more grenades. Fuck it. Let's bad. The Viper needs to die first. And this here should be a secure kill. Good job. Target eliminated. Thanks to high, uh, high ground. We did that quite well. Oh, there's a second Viper. Oh. Oh. If we are suppressing it, it can't spit nor use its tongue. Spitting is no problem at all. Come because uh, we are immune edge. against that. The tongue grab, however, is an issue. Mind spin? No. Resurrect. That's almost as bad. Immunity against spit. That was important. So we do have no, no automatic damage. That's bad. 74% chance to hit this guy. Let's make sure that we can get that we can get the viper. Shit. I missed him. This is going to kill the viper because we have to stop. This here has a 66% chance to kill it. This here actually has a higher percent chance to kill it, and that's a 50-50 to kill him. So... I think we're going to take the 50-50. Alright. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. That wasn't as easy as I thought it would have been. Actually, a pretty difficult uh, one. If you don't have any armor, every single hit just feels like you're being hit by a train. To let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful. To the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. So I think we got one promotion out of it, which isn't too bad, but I think we also have two injuries, probably gravely, yeah, gravely wounded. But Godfather is promoted. And we're going to go for quick draw, which means we can shoot twice. Death from buff is good as well. We might want to add it to his abilities. Got 20 intel, a couple of corpses, Hello, Commander. and an engineer. Which means we finally can excavate a bit faster. So, let's take a look at the training center. Godfather here could use the pool in order to get death from above. That's an option. Not sure if we want to do that though. Yeah, let's maybe wait. It's not as necessary while it's, um, it's not really as necessary while you're 
um, while you're not having the last uh, unique rifle from the hunter. Once you have the hunter rifle, death from above becomes very, very strong. So we got 73 intel, which is almost 80, since we now can do immediate contact. I would just gather some intel at the Reaper HQ. Once we have 80, we're going to make contact and have a fourth region. There we go. Make contact. So that is helpful because now we can theoretically reduce the avatar by three blips. We've located the elders hunter actively working in this region, Commander. Here's some loot. Loot is usually not bad. Could be some nice little grenades. Could be some PCSs. Could be some we weapon modifications. The PCSs would actually help us. Um, we could also go for Intel and actually buy the stuff then, which is the safer Avenger route. New so let's go for Intel instead. We've already started it. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow Okay, we down, only lose we one day because fast. we're going to go through with sabotage. I don't want to rush one of the facilities if not absolutely necessary. We're getting an emergency signal from our people deployed with Yeah, and that's where an we are going to end this Fire mission because that's directly now. the next ambush. It's good that we have um, that we have uh, equipped our soldiers quite well because I was already under the impression that we're probably going to be ambushed. So yeah, let's do this the next time. Thank you for watching and uh, see you all in the next episode.